Hi, I'm Cosmo Dad. Welcome back to my lab. Today I'm here just to do a real quick video about why you might need swivel thumb shears. Oh, that works better than I thought it would. So what do I mean when I say swivel thumb shears as compared to regular hair cutting shears? Regular hair cutting shears basically have one moving part. They have what we refer to as the stationary blade and the moving blade. Your thumb operates the moving blade and the rest of your fingers hold the stationary blade. Swivel thumb shears, there are many kinds. These are double swivel thumb shears. The thumb hole swivels side to side like single swivel thumb, but then there's also an up and down pivot as well. I've also tried another kind of swivel thumb shear where the pivot that attaches the swivel thumb to the moving blade is flexible. And so they kind of like wobble around if you're not doing it right. But what's the point? Why would anybody choose a swivel thumb over a simpler traditional shear? It all boils down to injuries uh, related to posture and repetitive motion. I see this all the time when I'm out teaching stylists about hair cutting, and I've talked about this in other videos as well. But I often see people jam their thumb into the thumb hole, which makes the hair cutting shears very stiff. So if I want to cut up above somebody's head, nice and level, that automatically puts my elbow above my shoulder. Anytime you have your elbow above your shoulder, you're putting yourself in an awkward position where you're probably going to injure your back or your hips. And then you also don't get a lot of range of motion. When I'm, my wrist is at an extreme angle this way, let's say I need to cut backhanded and come back this way. That is an extreme angle for my wrist, and that can lead to carpal tunnel. So number one, jamming your thumb in the thumb hole can keep your spine and hips crooked. It can also put your wrist at extreme angles, leading to carpal tunnel, not to mention repetitive motion injuries related to opening and closing your hand, rather than just moving the thumb. Because if I have my thumb jammed in this hole here, I almost can't help but to move my bottom fingers as well as my thumb. In order to solve this, we ideally should be holding our shears with the side of our thumb. Now when I'm cutting above someone's head, I can keep my elbow down or raise my elbow a little bit to almost flatten my wrist out. That's all because my thumb is not jammed in the hole, but I'm just using the side of it. And then when I need to go ahead and cut backhanded, I'm using the other side of my thumb. And I'm able to cut nice and level with a nearly perfectly straight wrist and my elbow dropped. One additional reason why someone might jam their thumb in the thumb hole and not use the side or corner of their thumb is because they have fingernails that go past the tips of their fingers. And it's very difficult to operate your shears like this if you have fingernails. So you automatically have to put your thumb all the way in the hole or use the side knuckle like this, which many people find awkward or their hands might be too small. Now, because every body is different, everyone's thumb length is different, and the fact that most shear manufacturers seem to build shears based off the size of a man's typical size hand, women who have smaller hands have a hard time holding their shears loosely and being able to maintain control on them because the shears are too big for their hands. So proper thumb orientation to keep your wrist in a good position is not perpendicular to the shears, it's nearly parallel to the shears. Whether I'm cutting forward or backward, you'll see my thumb is nearly parallel to those blades. Enter the swivel thumb. I just want to thank my friend Maureen Moody, the curious stylist, for having these shears uh, made and sent to me. If you don't know who the curious stylist is or haven't checked out her channel, go ahead and check her out like and subscribe. And while you're at it, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here. So the swivel thumb shear allows me to put my thumb completely in the hole, in the thumb hole, but still rotate it to where it's parallel with my shears. I can cut forward, backward. I can even swivel around and cut down if I may be doing some face framing, all while leaving my thumb planted in that thumb hole. That double swivel just allows my thumb to swing a little bit more freely. If that didn't rotate, 
uh, my thumb might move around in the hole a little bit more. So I also want to tell you a couple drawbacks to the swivel thumb too, but first a real quick review. If your hands are too small for your shears, if holding them with the side of your thumb is awkward or uncomfortable, if you have fingernails of any length that get in the way of holding with the side of the thumb, or you just have the bad habit of jamming your thumb in the thumb hole, then swivel thumb may be the perfect thing for you. Thumb goes in the thumb hole, move the moving blade, but I still am allowed to keep the stationary blade stationary and move only my thumb. Now some drawbacks to the swivel thumb shear. When you're using a swivel thumb shear, if you have poor form, you will find that they wobble around a lot and they will feel unsteady because you've not developed the muscles to hold your shears steady with the rest of your fingers. The wobbliness can be a drawback, but paying attention to that and identifying it can also be a, a benefit to help you correct your form and have a nice long career where you can do amazing work. Another potential drawback of the swivel thumb shears is they are heavier just because there's more metal involved. There's more moving parts, so every once in a while the screws keeping these together might come loose and you need to tighten them up. And the final drawback, which I kind of disagree with, but most people who use swivel thumbs say if you use one pair of swivel thumb shears, all of your shears need to be swivel thumb. And I can understand that because of your, your muscle memory and needing to use the same form. But personally, I also don't have any problem changing form based on the tool that I'm using. I use my thinning shears differently than I use my regular hair cutting shears. So why can't I get used to using my swivel thumb shears as well as my regular hair cutting shears? If you're experiencing body pain when you're cutting, uncomfortability, instability, or just all around general awkwardness, give swivel thumb shears a try. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you want to hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.